Hello. Is it Owen? All right. Hello. My name is Luke Lashevsky, and I am the senior class president. This is Lila Labib, senior class vice president. We would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the Belvedere High School's class of 2023. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag to the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by the amazing Max Serrata Shapiro. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you. You may be seated at this time. We would like to take this time to remind you that this is a dignified ceremony. Please make, take a moment to silence your cell phones um, if, you have uh, if you have not already done so. Please also refrain from using loud noises, making devices uh, during the ceremony. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. If we could just have another round of applause for Mac Shapiro. That was outstanding, Mac. Every year I come up and I say it's one of the hardest things to do is follow such a talented student leading in such a great version of the Star Spangled Banner, so thank you. So it is, this is my great, great pleasure. I'm going to fight the flag for a little bit. Uh, but I welcome everyone here today, today to this wonderful celebration of the class of 2023. First, I'd like to take a moment to thank our BHS teachers, the teachers who have worked with you through the challenges and have seen you come in as wide-eyed freshmen and watched you mature into the young adults that you are today. I know that they are all very proud of you, and they deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Next, I would like to thank our amazing support staff. Your four years of high school would not have gone as smoothly without them. Please join me in thanking Mrs. Hesketh, Mrs. Collum, Ms. Sprons, today for all of their hard work and dedication. Also today, it would not be possible without the help of our guidance department, specifically our two amazing counselors, Ms. Skoog and Ms. Labonia. Now I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge our 2023 retirees. 
Pamela Geisinger, our science teacher, and James Barrick, our operations chief. <laughs> Mrs. Geisinger retires after 32 years of working with our students. She will truly be missed. She has done an outstanding job. Pam, we will miss you. Thank you for all your service. <laughs> Mr. Barrick retired after 26 years of, of service to our district. His dedication to the district and our students is very much appreciated. Mr. Barrick is not with us here today physically, but he's here in spirit. Thank you, Mr. Barrick. <laughs> I wish you guys both the best in your retirement, and please enjoy all that life has to offer. Finally, I would like to thank Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Hoyt, and Mr. Wildermuth and our outstanding, trip, our outstanding maintenance staff for preparing our stadium for this afternoon's event, along with Ms. Poirier, our senior class advisor, Ms. Kerpat, who has done so many things to make today a special day for our seniors, Mr. Lee and Mr. Cook for their technical help, Mr. Zetterstrom and Mr. Conti for their musical help. Thank you. We appreciate your efforts. It is now my pleasure to welcome some of our dignitaries today. Starting out with the Belvedere Police Department, we have with us today Chief Matt Scott, Sergeant Dave Mariani, and John Mayhew, our, student, our school resource officer. Thank you guys for being here. From the Belvedere Ambulance Corps, we have Tyler Herb, the captain, and Tracy Marsh, our president. The Belvedere Fire Department, Mr. Peach Cole, our fire chief. And now please let me introduce our special guests that are sitting behind us. From the Belvedere Board of Education, we have Dr. Robert Zepeth. From the Sending District, we have Mr. Doug Ty. We have, uh, from Town Council, we have Mayor Kathleen Myers, Mr. Glenn Matlock, Mr. Adams and Grotsky, and Ms. Tammy Coop. Yep, thank you for joining us. And of course, our, our administrative team from Belvedere High School, we have Dr. Jessica, McKin Jessica McKinney, our principal. Mr. Bradley Bartow, our assistant principal and director of athletics. And somewhere out there floating around by the fire truck, Mr. Carabinas, our Belvedere Elementary School principal. Also like to welcome Mr. Kevin Newman, the chief school administrator from Hope Township. And, yep. And Mr. William Thompson, who is the CSA for White Township and also a member of the Belvedere Wall of Fame. And finally, no Belvedere High School graduation would be complete without one of our town favorites. We're always happy to see you here, Chief, Mr. Andy Mark. <laughs> On behalf of our students, staff, and the Board of Education, I congratulate you, the class of 2023, for all of your accomplishments. You leave us today having left a significant impact on Belvedere High School. You should be proud of what you've accomplished. Let me leave you with one thought. All of you have worked to make yourself a better version of yourself, of who you are and who you were when you came here as a freshman. As you leave here, it is not time to stop learning or to take a pause, but rather to truly push yourself to new limits to become the best version of you. Remember that you have the ability to make a difference and never stop dreaming. As Helen Hayes once said, every pro was once an amateur, every expert was once a beginner, so dream big and start now. And be willing to work hard and understand that your hard work will always help you achieve your goals. Finally, as Bo Jackson once said, set your goals high and don't stop until you get there. Congratulations, class of 2023. And a very special to you parents and all of those that have helped our students to get to where they are today. At times as parents, it's a difficult job and we forget to tell our kids how proud we are of them. We have 93 students out there that everybody here I know is very proud of. So thank you for all that you've done. Parents, I speak on behalf of the staff and I say it has been a privilege and an honor to work with your children over the last four years. And we thank you for entrusting them to us. Thank you, Class of 2023, and best of luck to you. And now I'd like to introduce Mrs. Uh, Doctor, sorry, so say Mrs. Dr. Jessica McKinney, high school principal. Good afternoon. 
It is an honor to be with you here as we celebrate Belvedere High School's class of 2023. I would like to thank Mr. Karuba, members of the Board of Education, and all of the dignitaries who have joined us here today. A special thank you to Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Hoyt, and the members of our maintenance and custodial staff for ensuring that everything was up and ready to go for this ceremony. Thank you to Mr. Lee, Mr. Cook, Mrs. Kerpat, for making sure that our sound and tech needs were taken care of, and Mrs. Stephanie Poirier, who served as the senior class advisor. Thank you, Mr. Conti and Mr. Z, for your, helping your students to prepare for this day. I would also like to extend my deepest appreciation to the members of our administrative team, high school staff, parents, guardians, students, and most importantly, the class of 2023 for making this year a memorable one. Last but certainly not least, I would like to take an extra, extra special thanks to the administrative assistants for all of their help, especially Ms. Lori Heskiff, who worked really hard to make sure the behind the scenes things were taken care of for this ceremony. Class of 2023, where do I begin? Getting to know you over the course of these last four years has been fun, and I have to say, some of the conversations were even funnier. The manner in which you unapologetically spoke your mind was something to admire. Although I imagine Mr. Bartow probably was very happy when you did say, I'm sorry. Each graduating class has a unique set of individuals, those who are outgoing, those who are introverted, those who are athletic, those who are artistic, those who can fix a car or till the fields, and everyone else in between. It is always a joy to see how our students mature from freshman year to senior year. Some 20, 30, and 40 years from now, you will reflect and reminisce about your time in high school. The idea is to look back and appreciate how those years shaped who you are today. Steve Maraboli, author and veteran, explains that we all make mistakes, have struggles, and even regret things in our past. But you are not your mistakes. You are not your struggles. You are here now, the struggle of the flag. You are here now with the power to shape your day and your future. I couldn't agree with him more. You are the next generation to enter into the armed forces, the trades, business, education, politics, law enforcement, etc. What will you do? How will you make a positive impact? Take note of everything you have to offer. You might be telling yourself right now that there's nothing special about you, but I'm here to tell you that's simply not true. You might just have to dig a little deeper to find it. You all have something to be proud of. I'd like to leave you with one last thought. Figure out what you are passionate about and then seek a career to fit that passion. Steve Jobs, co-founder and CEO of Apple once said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to truly be satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. There is a purpose for each and every one of us, but it may, be evident, it may not be evident right away. We typically hear the saying, with age comes wisdom. But there's a second part to Oscar Wilde's quote, which is, but sometimes age comes alone. That's because wisdom is gained from our experiences, not simply because we age. I encourage each one of you to take what you have learned and to continue to become the wisest version of yourself. Your contributions to our society and world are needed now more than ever. And I have no doubt that the BHS class of 2023 will do some amazing things. My hope is that you enjoy the pleasures in life, appreciate the struggles, and take pride in all of your accomplishments. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Thank you.
At this time, I would like to call up Rebecca Ann Ferullo, who is the salutatorian of the class of 2023. Good afternoon. My name is Rebecca Frullo, and I am the salutatorian of Belvedere's High School graduating class of 2023. First of all, I would like to show my appreciation to all who have made this day possible. Thank you to all of the families, friends, teachers, and administration who have shown their continuous support to those graduating here. And to my fellow graduates, we grew up. All we ever wanted was to grow up. We grew up sharing endless laughter and making thousands of memories within the walls of our classroom since 2010. We yearn to be older, taller, wiser, and stronger. Tall enough to ride the biggest roller coasters and free to drive on our own with the windows down on warm summer nights. We wanted to grow up. We grew up anxiously waiting for the bell to ring at the beginning and end of each day. We grew up reading picture books and eventually we moved on to chapter books. Now here we are, closing one chapter of our lives and turning the page to a new one. We grew up responding to the question, what do you want to be when you're older, in ways such as a teacher, a doctor, an astronaut, or maybe even a professional sports player? We thought we had our futures entirely planned out, but since that time, so much has changed. We grew up with the world at our fingertips, the internet constantly shaping and shifting our everyday lives. We've seen transformations through social media, fashion, and technology, which have caused transformations within ourselves as well. What we failed to realize was how fast we were growing up. And somehow the past 13 years have flown by. Years of waiting for this very moment turned into months. Months turned into weeks, weeks turned into days, days that have now come to an end. But in those past 13 years, the growing up we did was remarkable. We grew up dreaming about the day we would get to go off on our next adventure. And here I stand before you today as we take our first step towards that adventure. We grew up overcoming unforeseen difficulties. We went through all sorts of ups and downs through our formative years. From experiencing the unknowns of COVID, unspoken hardships, and even the loss of loved ones. I know each and every one of you has had your own difficulties, but we still made it to this day. And even though we've grown up, we still have a lot of growing up to do. So to the class of 2023, I wish each and every one of you the best of luck in whatever your future holds for you. Whether that be college, trade school, the military, or going straight into the workforce. Just remember that you're capable of so much more than you believe. And for the final time, I would like to address my fellow graduates by saying, congratulations, we did it. At this time, I would like to call up the valedictorian of the class of 2023, Natalie Grace Miola. Thank you, Dr. McKinney. Good afternoon, fellow graduates, students, teachers, faculty, family, and friends. I am truly honored to be standing in front of you all today and speaking as the valedictorian of the class of 2023. We have been through so much together, but we finally made it. After four years of classes, tests, extracurricular activities, and sports, we are finally graduating high school saying goodbye to the past and opening ourselves up to our bright futures. As we leave Belvedere High School and look to begin the next chapters of our lives, we all have something in common. We're moving on. We all have somewhat of a plan, whether that means going to college, attending trade school, joining the military, or doing something else. Personally, although I hadn't known exactly what I wanted to do with my life until my high school years, there was always a part of me that knew I wanted to pursue culinary arts. Even as a little kid, I would be mixing some water and spices in a bowl or helping my mom make dinner. So when I finally decided that I wanted to go to culinary school, I was happy. Not only was I relieved to have a plan, but I was beyond excited to go to college for something that I was so passionate about. However thrilled I was though, not everyone thought I had made the right decision. Of course, my family and friends were unwaveringly supportive, but some were not. I have been told a plethora of things by people and have heard countless criticisms, that I'm too smart to waste my potential by becoming a chef, or that I should be doing something better with my life. 
I have even had someone tell me that my highest aspiration would be cooking as a white. It was extremely difficult to take these criticisms. Here I was, excited about my decision, and here all these people were doubting me and telling me that I had made the wrong choice. I thought about it a lot. These people even made me start doubting myself, making me think that maybe I would be better off going to college for something more traditionally academic. I've always been determined to have top grades, and I even I began to think that maybe I would have been capable of more. I started thinking about other things too. Should I have chosen a career with a higher salary, something with better hours, something easier? But over time, I realized, what do I care? Why should I listen to other people's opinions? Why shouldn't I do what I want to do with my own life just because of what others think? Just because I am pursuing a career in culinary arts does not mean that I'm wasting my potential like some people may think. If anything, my intelligence aided me in choosing the career path I wanted. And in complete honesty, in 10 or 15 or 20 years from now, I would rather be doing something that I love than spending every day doing something that made me miserable. I learned to be confident enough in myself that I could make my own decisions and the right ones at that. I have always been my I have always been indecisive and my entire life I have looked to others for guidance, my parents, my teachers, my friends, especially major decisions like what you want to do with the rest of your life. It is a difficult task but I believe that I was strong enough to follow my passion and decide my own future, and every single one of the graduates sitting before me is capable of this as well. So if there is one message that I can instill in you all, it is to follow your dreams. Each and every one of us is unique, and we all have different interests and goals. That is why it is so important for each of us to focus on these goals and pursue them, no matter what other people may think. The only person's opinion that should matter is your own, and the, only, and the people who truly care about you will support you no matter what you choose. I would not be standing here today without some of the most important people in my life. I would like to thank my mom for always being in my corner and always being someone I can talk to no matter what. I would like to thank my dad for always believing in me. I would like to thank my brother, John, and my sister, Michaela, for being some of my biggest supporters and closest friends. I would also like to thank my grandparents, Todd and Lynn, for never failing to be there to support me and cheer me on in everything I do. I'd also like to thank my boyfriend, Irvin, for being one of my best friends and sticking with me throughout high school. Finally, a major thank you to all the past teachers that I've had for helping mold me into the person that is standing before you today. To the class of 2023, I leave you with this. Do what you want to do with your life. Take all of your dreams, no matter how small, and make them a reality. Pursue your dream career, travel the world, take risks. Never let anyone tell you that you should not or cannot do something because everyone sitting in front of me right now is capable of anything that we set our minds to. Do what you want to do because years from now, you'll be so glad that you did. Congratulations to my fellow graduates of the class of 2023. I am so proud of us all. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Riley. <laughs> oh, yeah, for Emily. Your back to get
befitting be our blessed. Peace in coming and in going. Peace in labor and in rest. We are meant, we are meant together. We are blessed. Peace in coming and in going. Peace in labor and in rest. We are meant. Board of Education members, I hereby certify that the students seated before you have satisfactorily completed all the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Belvedere Board of Education and have met all of the requirements of the State of New Jersey Department of Education. Therefore, without any reservations whatsoever, I recommend these students be awarded their diplomas this day, the 15th day of June, 2023. It is my privilege to present the Belvedere High School Class of 2023. Mr. Barto, come on up.
Natalie Grace Miola. Rebecca Ann Ferullo. Grace Suzanne Horvath. Camilo Sanchez Espinoza. Riley Danker. Julia Page Hubert. Irvin Thomas Jones the fifth. Nate Barnes. Kylie Ann Chrisafoli. Ellie Grace Cardos. Allie Bryn Tiedemann. Luke Philip Leszewski. Yeah, Lila Labib. Mac Ray Serrata Shapiro. Tala Abdullah. Emily Lauren Anderson. Madison Marie Bannis. Caitlin Jenna Bartron. Natalie Nicole Baxter. Our foreign exchange student from Italy, Bianca Buonamano. Gavin Harry Chamberlain. Eva Camisso. Kayla Jolie Connors. Elijah Eric Cook. Sophia Noel Dottavio. Patrick Depew. Elise Rose Discafani. Peter William Discafani. Lila Arden Divine. Emily Elise Duckworth. Madison Eva Dunn. Brody Ember Eisenhower. Yeah. 
Christopher Escalera. Michael Escalera. Israel Esteban Fierro Ortiz. Riley Elizabeth Flynn. Anasia Gruyon. Jacob Ryan Hatchman. Justine Lynn Hagen. Rafael Antonio Visconti Hennig. Anthony J. Hernandez. Olivia Mills Howie. Anthony Johnson. Hunter Kane. Valerie Angel Lapore. Relic Cavana Chardonnay Little. Ty Mason Lockard. Aaron Jeffrey Lasco. Sophia Jenica Lyons. Emily Madurki. Benny Margulies. Matthew Martin. Josh Matlock. Russ Edward Maxwell. Drew Grace McBride. Ryan Hunter McCready. Taylor Elise Mikelski. Jared Maloney. Jason Morgan. Ivy Elizabeth Northrip. Ryan Novakovich. Alexandra Grace Nussermini. Yeah. 
Isabella Sophia Ohanian. Mitchell Julian Pantuso. Giovanni Perella Pierce. Emily Rose Park. Madison Elizabeth Plogger. Ashlyn Marie Ponwitz. Wyatt Roy Richardson. Alexander Rodriguez. Juliet Faith Rodriguez. Bryant Robotham. Dylan Joseph Rowe. Josephine Rupert. Duquan Taekwon Sanford. Curland Mont Carmel Sannon. Anna Schweinoff. Chelsea May Sarah. Aiden Joseph Skinner. Matthew Jesus Soroka. Parker Bentley Stoken. Haley Madison Super. Mina Bell Super. William James Susco the third. Thakwa Meriam Syed. Thomas John David Tai. Jocelyn Trimmer. Priscilla Valverde Soto. Jenna Van Scoten. Cameron Walker. Christopher Wirt.
Caitlin Patricia Williams. Shaylin Yard. Samuel Zimgrodsky. At this time, we invite the class of 2023 to please stand and join us in moving our tassels from the right to the left to signify our transition from student to graduate. Now, as alumni of Belvedere High School, we will sing the alma mater together one last time. We invite you to join us in the lyrics are found in the program.
Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 Yeah